Okay, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Todd Lasang. We're here back at Tulsa Botanic Garden and I thought I'd show you some of our beautiful little species tulips. A lot of people don't realize, but the tulips we grow in our gardens these days are fancy hybrids, but they had to come from somewhere. So a lot of the wild types go all the way back to uh, the Middle East and over to uh, Central Asia. So here's one. It's just starting to finish up a little bit. This is a species tulip known as Tulipa bakeri or baker's tulip. This particular clone is called Lilac Wonder. And you know, it's kind of kind of doing its thing. And next to it we have some uh, much more showy ones. This is this is the um, the lady tulips and this is Tulipa clusiana, named for Clusius, who was a famous botanist who first introduced um, tulips into cultivation from the Levant. And this particular one is called Lady Jane. It's white with this beautiful pink or uh, pale red stripe down the backs of the tulips. The beauty in a lot of cases of species tulips is that they can um, perennialize, so they can come back year after year in your garden. So here we put them in this strip of um, buffalo grass, and they seem to be doing okay. Uh, we just have to kind of keep the spring weeds out of them, but otherwise they look good. Now we'll go show you a third one. Okay, and here's our third species tulip. This is actually another cultivar of Tulipa clusiana, which are known as the lady tulips. This one is Cynthia, and you can see as opposed to Lady Jane, she has uh, yellowish petals, which are backed by pink or reddish color on the back. Um, probably the best tulip to perennialize in your garden is the Tulipa clusiana cultivars. That's C-L-U-S-I-A-N-A. And they thrive on neglect. So remember, these are from parts of the world where there's rocky habitats that are kind of arid. And uh, they'll just grow in these hillsides, uh, a lot of times in the crevices of rocks or where rock piles are. So if you want to grow them in our climate, you need to keep them dry in the summer. If you irrigate them, they're going to rot. And you just let them be on their own. Don't baby them. Don't fertilize them. Just buy them in, plant them in an area like here where we don't irrigate in this buffalo grass turf. And... Um, Hopefully you'll have clones, uh, clumps that will um, be here in 10 or 20 years from now. So with that, here's a nice little chart for you on species tulips. Thank you very much.